Hello everyone and welcome back to our channel. In today's video, I'll be showing you how to connect Figma to Visual Studio in 2024. So today we're exploring how to integrate Figma, uh, which is your trusted design tool, with Visual Studio, which is a powerful integrated development environment IDA. ID. So stick around as I guide you through the steps to connect Figma to Visual Studio in 2024 and let's enhance the collaboration and streamline your design to code workflow like never before. So let's get started. Before we start with this video, make sure to watch us from now till the end so you have full experience. First, we'll have to go and open whatever browser you're going to use to follow this tutorial steps with. Here in my case, I'm actually going to use the Brave browser. And of course, in your case, it could be any other browser that you could possibly have. Once you do so, just go to this URL section and type figma.com and hit the enter button. This should take you into the home screen or main screen of their website. Of course, if it's your first time, you'll not be taken in here. Instead, you will find yourself on a place uh, like this. You'll find yourself on a page like uh, this one, which is the one uh, in here, yeah. And of course, you can click in here and log in to log into your account. If you have an account, if you don't click on get started for free to create an account or even get started in here to create a new account. If you're interested about pricing, here's it. You can post a video review it's all by your own for Figma and for Figma Jam. And if you don't know nothing about Figma, you can simply scroll down to read more information about this website. It, you'll be able to like learn a bit about it and have a general idea or what's about, first of all, before you even create an account. So once you log in your account, you'll find yourself and a dashboard like this one in here. And from here, you'll be able to start creating your designs and do a lot of other stuff. Now what you'll need to do is simply go and open your Visual Studio. So go and open that. And you will have to install the Figma to Visual Studio extension. So head up to extensions. You can simply go to the select panel. And you update. Does not matter. Just go to extensions or click on Control shift x as it seems in there. And here we'll have to look for the Figma extension. So type Figma. And as you can see, Figma for VS Code. Let's just go and click on that. And as you can see, here you'll be able to read the details, the features, uh, contributions, change log, dependencies, and a lot of other informations. So as you can see, streamline your design to code workflow with Figma for VS Code. What can you do with Visma, uh, Figma for VS Code? See and respond to comments and activities in real time. Get code suggestions based on design. Link code files to design components. A run dev mode plugin to customize your experience. And you have here troubleshooting, sh troubleshooting uh, share feedback and bugs and notes about the extension. As we said, we have here other informations that you may be interested on about change log with the changes in recent updates and dependencies if you want to what it depends on. So if you want to install it, just go and click on install. As you can see, because it will bring Figma into the text. It's inspect design, receive an indication, and get the code. And even it has a good rating, as you can see, among like uh, 61 writers that they rate this app. And of course, as you can see, more than 800, uh, 500, uh, 800 downloads. So I'll just go here and click on sell. And as you can see, they trust the author of the file uh, in this workspace. Enabling this extension requires a trusted workspace. If you don't trust this author of these files, we do not recommend continuing as the files may be malicious. See our docs to learn more. So just track, track, click on Trust Workspace and install. As you can see, if you go here to the rating, if you click on it, of course, you'll be taken to the web browser and you will be able to read everything if you want to. So as you can see, it's already installed now. If you click on it, uh, on it as an example, you'll be able to install another version. If you go here to change log and they change something that you didn't like at a specific like... Uh, Updates here, you can go and install maybe this update, which is 0.0.0, .0, .0, uh, 0 0.3.0, and then there's no three zeros in there. You can disable it, enable it whenever you want to click on settings here. You can go to extension settings as an example here and click on Figma. You'll be able to do a lot of things that you want. Like, yeah, so, so now it's enabled. As you can see, you have Windows subsystem for Linux installed. Your system do not, do you want to install the recommended extension i don't care about this at the moment so now what is already installed as an example now we can simply go to this list panel and click on this figma and as you can see log into your figma account to inspect design files and see notifications so click on login 
and it seems like it's still loading so i'll have to wait a bit maybe until it's finished the loading or let me just go and cloak close this vs code and open it again maybe it will work so yeah it seems now it's good so as you can see click on login continue logging in into figma with your browser if you have any issues please contact the figma team so do you want to open uh, the this into an external websites i'll just go and click on copy click in here open new tab click or type in here and as you can see login as my account of course because i'm already logged in if i'm not already logged in how to enter my credentials for me i'm already logged in so i'll just click on open figma for vs code always open vs code with it and it will open it allow figma for vs code extensions open this url open do not ask me again open and as you can see we are now connected our figma our figma account as you can see let's just go back here has all or sorry our vs code has all like as you can see the designs the files that i have on my figma and it's already connected now you can view as an example and met manipulates uh, as example figma designs with any visual studio in one minute or in one second whatever you want you can use the figma designs as reference during development you can sync the designs change between figma and visual studio and you can collaborate and communicate effectively between the teams of if you have a team in VS code and team in figma you'll be able to do a lot of stuff as you can see so yeah that's going to be it for me today but as you can see before you have even here a video uh check out emily demo for figma for VS code as you can see he explains a lot if you don't know nothing about like what's next if you don't know you can check as you can see this guy's video as an example to check it so you'll be able to see how uh, you should do or what you should do and yeah so there you have it you successfully learned how to connect figma to visual studio in 2024 enabling seamless collaboration and integration between design and development workflows so if you have a question or there is a specific topic that you would like me to cover in the next tutorial just drop it down below in the comment section and i'll try to do it as soon as possible and of course if you like this video Make sure to leave a like down below and subscribe to our channel for more headboard tutorials like this one. So happy coding and I'll see you in the next video and goodbye.